Is that it? Yeah. Looks like it. Alright then, we are live. Well, not really live, this is pre-recorded, but I am currently recording this on the Xiaomi Mi Jia 360 panoramic camera. So, if you want to go look around in any and every direction, then feel free, because it should be shooting in 360 degrees. It is another super sunny day out here and um, I've currently got this 360 panoramic camera hooked up to an adjustable stand. Why? Because uh, I plan on taking this thing out for a ride, a bike ride. Um, hoping that'll work. I'm, I'm just gonna go rent one of those bikes you can scan through a mobile app and just go ride around a place with this 360 camera uh, to show you how it works and hopefully it won't be too unstable because I imagine when I get on the bike there'll actually be a lot of shaking and, sh and you know shuddering but I don't know we'll, we'll see how it goes if it's too bad then I'll, I'll just settle it down and uh, sit down and talk about it some more so how it's working at the moment is that I've got this Media 360 panoramic camera up there bit of a mouthful. Um, I've got it hooked up to an app on my phone called the Sphere app and it's actually using Wi-Fi at the moment, not Bluetooth. It's using Wi-Fi and just connect up to the app. It's actually pretty simple. Connect up to the app, uh, press the power button on, on the camera, then press the Wi-Fi button on, on the camera, hook the camera up to the phone through your normal Wi-Fi settings and then click OK and confirm and all that stuff a couple times on the app and then you're straight into recording. Recording directly onto a micro SD card. Yes, micro SD card. Um, it charges through a normal micro USB cable uh, to computer or charger or whatever, but the storage you need a micro SD card and you need to check first of all whether the one you have or the one you go to buy is compatible with this camera. It'll only be compatible with certain few types of SD cards, but they're widely available, so it shouldn't be too much of a problem. The one I am using now is a 32 gigabyte micro SD card, which gives me roughly an hour and 30 minutes of recording time on this 360 degree camera. And should be able to see now that it's rather um, high quality. It's pretty pretty good. 360 degree camera. Uh, you can get 4K footage, and supposedly taking stills can get 7K, even better. Um, yeah. So now I've reached the bikes. There's a whole lot of them. Uh, not all of them will be working. Let me see which I can get. I've got the app running now, and I'm going to have to open up another app. I believe this should still be recording, even as I'm, other, as I'm using other apps on my phone. Okay, unlock, let's just pick out uh, this one. But before I even do that, let's see if I can actually wrap this thing round. I really don't want it falling off. So, a lot of traffic there. This is all running through the... <coughs> internal mic that's inbuilt into the camera so you shouldn't have to worry about fixing up external microphones with it unless you want really excellent sound quality okay that's hooked up now but I'm not sure how sturdy it's gonna be yeah. switch back to my app to see if they're still running. I'll be impressed if it is. Oh, bit. Okay. Yep, still going strong. Okay, right. Let's unlock this bike. Scan QR code. Yeah. Like that. And it should unlock momentarily. Like that. This. Okay, and away we go. 360 degree panoramic camera from Xiaomi 
and a lovely bike ride on a sunny day. Unfortunately, where I am at the moment, it's a pretty built up sort of area. Uh, so I'd have to go quite far to actually see some natural bits. It's just a big road at the moment. And some shops and a garage and all this and that. But um, yeah, I'll see if I can find anywhere a bit more picturesque, although I'm not too hopeful. I'm just heading to the local shopping centre at the moment. I can see the camera is wobbling a hell of a lot, so I'm going to try and make this a bit of a smooth ride. Find more smooth surface, hopefully this will do me. Alright. Well, the stand seems to be working pretty well too, it's just quite standard. Um, bendy foam one. I've just wrapped it around the basket here on the front of the bicycle. Ah. And I hope y'all can get a good view as I can in 360 degrees. Uh, it's blocked a bit now by the trees to my right hand side, but there is in fact a lake of sorts. Although it's looking a bit dry now, we're getting into the high of summer. Uh, residential estate on my left. Mm -hmm. And let's keep on riding. of this journey it's going to be just more of the same so to avoid all boring you all to death and uh, getting you sick from the amount of shaking going on here I'm going to switch it off and come back on when I've found a suitable place to be seated. Bye for now. Alrighty back on and now I've opted for some walking instead I'm off the bike and I'm at the uh, nearby shopping mall. Just walking around. And now I'm using this 360 panoramic camera with a uh, black solid grip as opposed to the um, bendy one I was using earlier. Um, and this, this grip also turns into a stand which I'm gonna use in just a moment. In fact, I'll use it right now. Oh, it is ruthlessly hot out here though. Yeah, so again, feel free, take a look around. Okay, let's just pop it down here, like that. Oh, even the seat is hot. Uh, let's put it there. Yeah, hopefully that looks half decent. Ooh. Yeah, I'll get a bit closer so you can hear me a bit better. Um, so. In terms of the battery that's in this camera, you've got a 1,600 milliamp hour battery which should last you around 70-75 minutes of um, shooting. Like that's, not, that's not standby power, that's just shooting straight for 75 minutes uh, using the panoramic mode. Uh, and it charges, it shouldn't be more than two hours, so less than two hours you get a full charge. So that's pretty good. Uh, it's also got image stabilization, you can probably see even better on the previous scene, previous clip, whether that worked well or not. And it has six axis gyroscope, for what it's worth. The image sensor in this camera is IMX206 from Sony. Look around the area. So yeah, it's a Sony K206. 
camera. Supermarket down there, a whole bunch of restaurants. This one's called Coco City, this shopping centre. And even a Huawei shop down there. Let's go take a peek over that way. I think you'll be able to tell from uh, the footage I'm shooting at the moment that this is a very good 360 camera. Um, compared to the other ones on the market, well, Xiaomi, so you already know it's going to be of, of a certain pretty good quality, right? But uh, actually, having seen some of the footage that other similar 360 cameras produce, you, you can really say that this is the best commonly available one on the market at the moment. Um, yeah, I haven't seen much better than this outside of super expensive professional equipment. Ooh, oh yeah, there's the Huawei store. Entrance to the mall. Banks and whatnot. The nice thing about this city is that although it's very heavily built up, huge city, huge population, you do get a lot of greenery just dotted around the city, the roadsides, the pavement, sidewalks, whatnot. Let's take a trip down here. Right then, I think that's been enough of that. If you'd like to go ahead and buy the Xiaomi Mi Jia 360 degree panoramic camera, then head over to geekbuying.com now. Also, you can check the specs out there too. Uh, if this hasn't been enough information for you, you can go look at it in more detail over at geekbuying.com. And as well, don't forget to subscribe.